Bugün mutluluk duyuyoruz. Birini sunmaktan içgörülü dersler başlıklı. Beş dünyanın durumu dört bölümünden biri üstad ve müritler arasında İngilizce verilen 28 Şubat 2005 tarihinde Macaristan'da. You know, you know, you know that you will be, you know, you know, you know that you will be. The queen, the queen, the queen, the queen of the land show my Now, we go back to the Buddha business. <laughs> I am sorry I'm late today. I was going to see you, but then I have so much telephone call from here and to here, you know, because um, this is the earth, huh? <laughs> and I look like one of the earthling, huh? So I have to do a lot of work concerning the earthling people and just like any earthling people, so that I can be free to be with you. I also need a passport, I also need a driver license, I also need pay the bills, I also need all this and that and others, and the house and the tax and whatever in different countries and other centers, blah, blah, blah, blah, blah, blah, blah, blah. Huh? All these are Vietnamese? Wow, look at they gave you the privilege, right in the front. <laughs> They still think I'm Vietnamese, that's for sure, huh? I told you how many times and how many days just recently, still think I'm Vietnamese. Fine, whatever. The whole world already thinks that I'm human, so I have to do a lot of human stuff. Bureaucracy, paperwork, pay the bills, blah, blah, blah, blah, at the car, registration, inspection, blah, blah, blah, blah. And you also think I am human. And they think I'm Vietnamese. They get this smaller all the time. <laughs> okay, some of you was wondering did I write it? Did I? Ah yeah. <laughs> the whole history of the five world. Anyway, this is how it happened. Okay? This is how it happened that the, the devil from hell can come up and seduce you, <coughs> or even some of the border astral, now, so that they fall into temptation, do bad things, and become hell person, you know, become tortured in hell. You don't have to be tortured in hell. If you fall in there, you're tortured enough already. Just like if you fall into this world, <laughs> you suffer, just automatic, yeah? It's, it's nobody need to come and stop you or any, anything here is a trouble, yeah? Even you just want to come here to see me, you do nothing wrong, you just want to come here to elevate yourself and thereby elevate the planet. You have to do so much work in order to come, yeah? Yeah, to work all night, all year maybe to save money so that you can come here. And then, even then, maybe you have to go to parents, Approval, husband, stamps, uh, wife permission, and girlfriend <laughs> tantrum <laughs> in order to get here, eh? And the passport, and the ticket. You wait in queue for one hour or sometime uh, more just to get a ticket, and then wait again in queue just to get on the airplane, wait again in queue to get down, <laughs> and wait again in queue to get a taxi, and walk all the mud to come here. Yeah, you know? Everything is a pain because you are in this world, no matter where you're from, yeah? The fifth, the fourth, the third, don't care. They treat you all the same here, yeah? All like trouble, trouble, trouble. Likewise, if you uh, fall into hell, it doesn't need any devil come and stop you or grilling you like the way they say it, or put you in a cauldron of oil, Boiling oil, no, no necessary. Over there, everywhere is like that. It's just a figure of speech. If you live there as if somebody boil you all day long, as if somebody stabbing you all night or oh, non-stop, as if somebody keep burning you, it's worse than that. So in the physical language, we use a fire, hell fire, hell oil, or whatever, uh, uh, you know, the uh, torture method that they use down there. 
just like this world is suffering. Sometimes nobody is tapping your heart, but you broke up with your boyfriend or your girlfriend, and you say, oh, my heart is broken. It's a figure of speech, but it's worse than that. You feel worse. You feel like in hell. You feel trouble. You feel pain. You feel terrible. So all you can say is, my heart's broken. Yeah? It's not like somebody take your heart and broke it into pieces, but it's worse than that. So in a way, it's like that in hell. If, if you are seduced to go to hell, then you feel terrible every day as if somebody burn you, as if somebody stab you, chop you into pieces and come back again and chop again. It's like that. Almost 24 hours. It depends on what kind of hell you are in. And you, come here, so it has more, come, come, come, nearby, nearby, nearby. So you can hear more carefully. <laughs> Who, yes, yes. Whoever need to come near, just go near. Whoever need to come here, just come here, sit on my feet, on my lap, whatever. <laughs> yeah, if you need to sit here, just go nearby. Come on, baby. Come, come, baby, don't worry, sit nearby. You don't have a chance every day. Whoever love to be near, just stick here, around blue and whatever. Yeah, and everybody else has room to expand just like God, eh? <laughs> you, live like, you feel like expanding, no? Because this uh, is going to be a long lecture, so you be comfy, all right? <laughs> Maybe long, maybe not, but it's about hell. <laughs> okay, we begin from hell, but we go to the fifth level. Don't worry, I don't leave anything out of it. But I don't know where is the longest, maybe hell, or maybe third, maybe astral, it depends on inspiration. Have we become free now? Get ready? Where were we? Oh, the hell person. Yeah. You were asking me before, why cannot we make the hell, you know, Maya become more a goody person? And blah, blah. No, they're, they're just like that. Ne? Go is go, Peppo is Peppo. Okay? Yeah. Now I have to tell you how they get up there. The physical world is the leftover from the astral creation. Ne? After creating the astral, the, the heavy stuff settles down at the bottom and become the physical world which is a fantastic word, I'm telling you. That's the only one that has physical body. Yeah. And, then, and then whatever left, whatever is heavier than the physical then, is even sink lower to the bottom of the creation, and we call hell. Yeah? There is no such a level like that. It's infinite. But still, each level is like that. Okay? Fine. So whatever <coughs> in the same level is hell. Whatever the same level is physical, whatever the same, the level of uh, f uh, finesse is astral, etc., etc., and the finer, the higher. Eh? Yeah, right. So we go from the bottom anyway. Okay. So everywhere, if you fall into hell, everywhere is suffering. In this world, we have suffering already, but sometimes we experience a break. We have happiness, we fall in love, we have parents, we have kids, and we have <laughs> happiness from them, and we have pets, and moments of happiness does exist, yeah? In hell, no. <laughs> All right. So in hell, no happiness ever. Maybe a break for two seconds, two minutes, but not like here. Sometimes we have happiness in this world. It lasts for hours or days or sometimes months. The honeymoon lasts uh, one week, two weeks, you know? <laughs> yeah. But in hell, no. It never lasts that long. And some hell don't ever have any happiness at all. So we call that eternal hell. That's reserved for people who like kill Jesus, uh, stab Buddha, things like that. But even then, because the Buddha is all ever merciful, so even they have affinity with them, they see them, they still scoop them out of hell after some time. Just like in Europe, sometimes they say life sentence, yeah? But they do have pardon. Yeah? And then he come out in a shorter period than, than he's supposed to. So the only reason we fall into hell is not because we're really that bad, but because we fall into temptation. Uh, the earth people or the astral aboard of earth fall into temptation of the devil from hell. I told you already, they want to expand, you know? They have plenty of time to even say, little, <laughs> I don't know, point, point of the creative power in them. Even more, worse than this, smaller than that. 
but also a creative power. So they want to expand, remember? And hell is the limit. <laughs> Just like the sky is the limit, hell is the limit. They can't expand anymore. Nothing sink any further than that. So they just have to go up where the border is and scratching, you know, getting people. Huh? Oh. And any hell beings, of course, some are stronger, some are less powerful. Just like on earth, we have some more powerful or some stronger muscle or some stronger mind and some stronger position. Some have more power, some have more money than others. Same in hell, same. They, because they don't have the body like us. Earth is the only planet that has beings with physical body, be it animals or be it men, or be it beasts or be it the flying birds. They all have physical bodies you can touch. You see? They really materialize and they last long, long time. Like, depends, yeah? Like human, they last almost 100 years, dog, maybe 10 years, 20 years, chicken, 2 years, etc., etc., but they do last. And they do have real physical body, yeah? From the karma and from the structure of the creation, yeah? By the structure of creation, we are long-lasting uh, creature with body, with physical appearance. But the, the hell don't have. Hell, hell people don't have, the astro don't have, second don't have, third don't have, fourth don't have, fifth, fifth don't have, and sixth don't have, don't have, nobody. Only the earth planet have it. So in a way, it's very special, very interesting. Therefore, many beings from higher planets come visit us sometimes, yeah, just to look at. <laughs> just like you go to France, or, or even you are in a free country, European Union, but sometimes you might like to go to poorer country, or. Uh, different, more restrict regime, just to look at, yeah? Not because they are better than you, maybe they are worse, or maybe they are better, but you like to go look at, okay? Fine. So the high be higher beings also sometimes come down here and have a look at us, but you never know who they are. I'm telling you soon, yeah. Now we're still in hell, yeah, we don't go to... <laughs> so the hell beings, they also have power, as they are also from God, even though the worst part of God, they have power so they can manifest themselves into a human body. Depends on how powerful they are, yeah? So you hear sometimes of the stories that the, you see the ghost, you know, appear somewhere for two minutes, half an hour, depends on how powerful they are. The most powerful hell beings, or even ghosts, they go to hell anyway. Their word is hell. If not, they would have gone to heaven or astral already. Now, the most powerful hell beings could manifest themselves into a human body like us, you know? They can make even more beautiful, extremely beautiful. And if they are more powerful, they can stay for two days. Let's see if this is correct. <laughs> because so many things come in, I have to just shorthand quick. Where are hell? Where is the hell? <laughs> <laughs> ah, there you are. <laughs> The information don't come into you just like a television. It's so fast. And if I don't write it down, my brain will forget. I have other things to do later immediately. I cannot remember hell stuff. Okay. The most powerful hell person can stay on the planet Earth, mingle around us for four hours. That's all they are permitted. Just like some country, we can go only for two days or one month or one week. We cannot go any further. If we want, we have to go back, get get visa, come back. Like Taiwanese people, if they want to come here, they're not free like you. Taiwanese, eh? Like, they are permitted to come and stay three months. And then if they want some more, they have to go through bureaucracy a lot and maybe extend six months if somebody guarantee them and have money and all that uh, with a lawyer, ne? But uh, more trouble. If not, they go home again, get another stamp, come back another month. Understand now? Okay, so hell person are permitted on earth four hours at a time without body. And if he want to manifest in the body, two hours. Okay? Of course, the hell person can be punished as well. Normally, they roam around free in hell, around everywhere. But if they are uh, doing something bad, of course, they be like uh, locked into some worse area and never can come out. <laughs> like the genie in the lamp, 
<laughs> but he's probably a good guy, but he just probably been naughty for a while. Okay, so hell being allowed visa for four hours, four hours, hour, and then they have to go. And then if they manifest here, the powerful person wants to manifest into the body like us, then he can only manifest for two hours, and then his power diminished, then he has to go anyway. So some are naughty, some they get hold of other person's body, so we call them, they are possessed. Some rebel, some don't want to go back there. All right, so in two hours, a hell person can manifest like you and I, and then if you don't know he's a hell person, he will tell you things. He will talk to you, he invite you coffee, he give you wine, he give you drug, whatever you like, a woman, whatever. In that two hours, then you fall. And he come back again another two hours, extending his power over you, and then soon you become his disciple, and then you do any bad things that you cannot imagine. First a small thing, and then bigger thing, and then slowly become a habit. You become murderer, gangster, whatever that you could not imagine. Because he can manifest for two hours. Two hours is a lot of time to do anything. Suppose he give you drug, then you become addicted. Nah? He come back again, give you alcohol, slowly you addicted. And some use another earthling body, like somebody is weak or something, and not protected by master power because not doing meditation. Or sometimes they do meditation but in a wrong way, without teacher, without guidance, or without proper guidance their soul come out of the body. At that moment, the devil come in and took possession of the body. So he doesn't have to make a body himself, and he can stay longer. Yeah? Excuses, you know? Right. And then he can, you know, like, make havoc upon earth or whoever he encounter. Yeah? That's how we fall. That's how earthling people fall. Yeah? Or any, even animals are possessed sometimes by so-called demon, and they do things in a bad way. They bark or they bite when they normally don't. Yeah, or they, they kill. Normally they don't do that, but when they're possessed, they do it. I say two hours, it just depends on power. Some hell being cannot stay two hours or four hours. They can stay less, yeah, depends. And uh, sometimes they cannot manifest into the whole body. They can manifest only partially, yeah, because their power is not strong enough. Uh, I guess sometime maybe you heard about the newspaper or television reporting that people see some of the boots walking without body, yeah? Or see in such a head flowing around, or see in the body without head. It's not because he don't have head, it's just he cannot manifest the head. <laughs> he has the power to manifest only up to here. Or he has the power to manifest up to his knee only. So you only see the feet walking. Sometimes he has power to manifest the hand, so you only see the hand moving, you don't see anything else. Yeah? Sometimes he manifests from here to here, so you think he's floating on air. It's all true. It's all true because the these are less powerful, hell beings, so they cannot manifest the whole body and they cannot stay long. And then slow, it fades quick. Yeah? Right. That's it. Anything else you want to know from hell before I move up? <laughs> Enough? Yes? What? In Chinese uh, calendar, calendar, that uh, in the July, that mm -hmm. is the hell's month. I don't know if that's true. Or possible, possible. Possible they, they have a vacation. That they go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, July. Why not? Why not? In Europe, we have August. In Europe, August is a holiday month. <laughs> Nobody stay in Paris, all empty, you know? Possible that they choose July because they can go to Paris. <laughs> Uh, before it's all empty, yeah? Possible, you know, why not, eh? The whole planet hell have only one month holiday is fair enough. <laughs> yeah, why not? Okay, never mind. Yeah. Yeah, in Europe they believe it's October. So maybe Chinese uh, hell open in July and <laughs> Before we move up. He attempted to do something bad that normally wouldn't do. Is that influence from hell being, is it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's influence from hell being. And also from your past karma. Because past karma you have already been tempted by hell. 
Yes. So you've done something bad also, maybe. It's maybe not the first time, sure. see? So because of that, that you are in, inclined to do the same stuff again. Yeah. yeah. And apart from that, the hell have connection. Because you have bad karma, a bad deed, so the same frequency, he can use that to contact you. And it double your chance of falling into temptation. Yeah. That's why once you sin, it's difficult to get up. You ask the people who play cards or drink, drink alcohol, so difficult for them to stop it because the hell being use their body also drinking for them, enjoying it, and make them drink more and more. And they have a connection already, they keep coming to near the body and make the body drink more. And in the stupor, you know, in drunkenness, it's easy to force their soul, the owner, soul out of their, his body and then take over. And when he wake up, he come back to his body, but the astral or the hell already been drinking a whole lot of uh, gamble, his whole fortune on the table already. Very difficult. So it's better to keep by precept, go straight. Yeah. That's the problem. The more you sing, the, the more you want to sing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Is that why people that have committed a murder, for example, sometimes don't remember that they did it? Yeah, so it's true. Took over. It's true, it's true. Some people don't remember it. Yes, it's true. Or sometimes they, they sleepwalk and do it and they come back, they don't remember. But sleepwalk also is um, motivated by some hell being, eh? Yeah. So some poor people are like that, yeah. But of course you have to be some, really some spot in you, have some dark thinking, and they feed on those dark thinking to connect with you, yeah? Yeah. Uh, mikor szerelm esetre egy szexuális lányban transzolisan, akkor uh, szól, akkor csak este mikor alkodnak, vagy uh, fogod meg mindenki érteni a hanapon alatt? Then you are in love, or you have sexual desire. Is it just instincts, your instincts, or uh, uh, energy is already involved? Uh, sometimes, yes, sometimes, no. Yeah? Okay. A human are born with this kind of DNA, yeah? Because we are human a very low level on the scale of the creation anyway. They have a tendency. They have the tendency to expand, you know, also like God, but they don't know how else to do, so that's the way they expand. <laughs> uh, anything more than uh, usual, anything more excessive, you know, and more abnormal, that is then influenced by hell. If it's in a normal scale of a human tendency, then it's not. And I have explained already about falling in love. Yeah, that is sometimes uh, you have been enemies. The stronger the enemies, the stronger the feeling of falling in love. <laughs> most of the time, I don't say all the time, most of the time. And then once you fall in love and you be together, you fight all the time. Even sex couldn't cure it, fighting, fighting, but everything, everything even they do or not do, if you irritate it, and then it becomes a big explosion, fighting all the time, very little happiness. But you can't leave each other. <laughs> the bondage of enemies is stronger than the bondage of love. It's easier for you, you just for example, so much you love me, I don't doubt. But it's easier for you to leave me than to leave your husband or your wife. Is that not true? Yeah? Not that you don't want to leave him or her, but you can't. Yeah? But it's easier for you to just leave me, though you love me so much. You cry, you die, anything, but you leave. Okay, no problem. Go home and carry a normal life. But if you leave that husband or wife of yours, ah, yeah, my heart's broken. I can't do it. And then I fight every day, crying like hell. I cannot live. 
Yeah? Is that not true what I'm saying? Okay. Now you know. Sometimes uh, uh, you don't know. You don't know the, the power of enmity between two enemies. You don't know that power. It's very wicked. It's biting, it's chaining people, it's breaking people's heart, break down their mental resistance, break, break down their emotion, break down their confidence, break down their will to live, break down their spiritual aspiration. Oh, almost everything, destroy everything in their wake. That's why Jesus said, love your enemies. But if you don't, you have to come back and love them, and what a price! <laughs> Incredible. Sometimes you are enemies, and then you came, become lovers. And then, okay, you come back again, also become lover again. Not that you have been enemy again and then become lover again, but the enmity is still there. So many lives to erase it, many lives. Very difficult. <laughs> yeah, any more question? Yes. Are children very susceptible to also be some um, like devils in the, when they come into the body? Because I'm just thinking of when I was a child and my parents, they were divorcing and by that, uh, that time I had, for example, also a sleepwalking. And also sometimes I had this feeling of, um, I cannot describe it, I was lying in my bed and then there's like a like two surfaces um, going over each other, but it's, I cannot describe it. It was just this bad feeling and I couldn't stand it. So I don't know if it's just a matter of um, that I was trying to deal with the, the problems, for example, of my parents, or maybe it was something that was no, no. Sometimes in a time of illness or weakness, yeah, or dark thinking or negative thinking or sadness, deep sorrow, when we're in deep sorrow, the devil also take advantage of that and make trouble for us. Because when we in deep sorrow, we, we have no resistance, we have no willpower, not too much, yeah? That's what it is, and you are a kid also, yeah? vulnerable, yeah? So it happens. But it's okay, you're okay, you can, you okay. <laughs> no more question about hell? Shall we move up now? Yes. Oh, okay. Let's fly. <laughs> Fly over the, the hell, fly over the, the furnace, huh? the burning furnace of hell, and then over the cauldron and everything, <laughs> and then we go to the mountain of the astral. The astral animals even can manifest into human form and come into the earth uh, world, the physical world, and can visit for two days in the physical body form. Yeah. So sometimes you talk to people outside, <laughs> it might be an astral manifestation from an animal, or maybe from an astral being, you know? Not necessary animal, so they can stay two days. And the astral beings sell themselves, it look like us, eh? just more beautiful. They can stay five days in the physical form. Isn't that wonderful? And you can't even stay five minutes in the second world or third world. Shame on you, shame, shame, shame. <laughs> Without a body even, you can't even stay there for five minutes. Yeah. The human has more disadvantage. Do not know anything of this manifestation power. Therefore, they cannot go anywhere. They are bowed, hand and feet, nailed on the surface of the earth. Very pitiful. So the master of the higher level come down and awaken in them this power. Say, you have it, baby, you have it. Yeah? Just use it. Try to train yourself again and clean yourself, refine it, and then you become that, the pure essence that you have before. Just clean it out, you know? Like the, uh, the process of making soya milk. Yeah? The soya milk is inherited from the soya. It's already there. Huh? Or when you want to make a gluten protein. You know a gluten protein? Yeah? You know how to make it? Tell me. No? Oh, you eat it every day and you don't even bother to ask how. Okay, I tell you how. 
For example, you buy one kilogram of the flour, normal bread flour, wheat flour, ne? and you come home, you mix it with water into a strong paste. It's just like bread, like a bread, the dough of bread, is that right? Dough, yeah? And then you knead it, knead it, knead it well, so that all the, the water and things so mix together well, so it, it becomes like, they stick together, okay? They bind together first, all right? And then you slowly take one piece, a small piece about like this, and you wash it under running water or in a big bowl of water. Wash, just keep washing and kneading the, the leftover together. The starch from the wheat flour will be washed out with the water. You keep washing and you wash clothes or wash your hand, wash it. And then maybe the clump will be a little bit broken. Then you sample it again and knit it together and wash again, again, again, until all the starch completely vanish from that clump of flour that you have made. And then what remains is the protein we call gluten. And that's what you eat today in the goulash, you will, yeah. Okay, the small, small thing like that. Yeah. Sometimes it's made of soya, sometimes it's made of gluten. Soya, then it would look like a little bit like white, and the gluten is a little bit dark. It's more chewy. <laughs> All right? The, the vegetarian meat, they sometimes they say made with gluten with, that's how they made it. You can try to make it yourself in the kitchen. Yeah, if you don't have one that they sell in your village, you make it like that. You buy flour, you knit together into a big dough, and then you wash it. Yeah? And the, the water will become milky. That's the, the starch coming out. And uh, left over, it become very chewy and very uh, uh, binding together, you know, very like a glutinous kind of. And then, and then you make it in the way you want. You cut it into small pieces, or you boil it, and then cut it and make it like a steak, or you know, whatever. And then you fry it, and you put uh, seasoning, and then it's become like meat. Yeah, that's the gluten meat, gluten protein from wheat, right? Why do we go to food now? You hungry? <laughs> no? Okay. They make beautiful gulas. <laughs> You're going to enjoy it. <laughs> Nobody makes gulas as good as the Hungarian. Because they used to be uh, like, how you say, the, the people who move around. Not gypsy. There's a nomad, nomad, right? They used to be nomad. They're good, uh, good horse riding, good horse riding. They used to ride in big caravan. And uh, because gulas is a simple food to cook when you have caravan and when you move around. You know, you, you cook in a big cauldron, put vegetables, whatever you find. Eh? Gulas mean uh, melange, mean uh, mix. And then you put it on there, seasoning, then eat together. And because they live in the nature, it's mostly cold. So the gula soup around the fire, they cook and wait for the soup and then eat together and talk. And they're very united people, the Hungarian, in the old time. When they first came here, they were not born here. I don't know where they came from, maybe Mongolian or something. Yeah, they inherit a Mongolian uh, strong power of defense, survival. <laughs> so that's why they make the gula so good. Huh? It's beautiful gula, very famous Hungarian gula, no? Have you tasted? Yes. Good, good. They are very strong, united people, therefore they are very smart also, because they have to survive in different situations, eh? This is natural, eh? Natural. You develop more IQ if you have been tested in different trial situations, then you develop skill of survival, and then you pass it on to the next generation. So even now the Hungarian doesn't have to fight for survival anymore, but they're still very strong. Don't touch them, I advise you. <laughs> Look at him. He's a well or Buddha, huh? You beware, okay? You see, they're very smart. You can see it, huh? You see, Hungarian, very smart. Because they have that DNA genetic in them, yeah. Also, they're very united. Yeah, you, you can see, there are only a few people here, but they work very hard and they're successful. Yeah? Three Buddha in one country. Shame. Shame on all of you. Shame. Go home and cry to the God or whatever. Three Buddha in one country. This is too much for you to bear. I don't, I don't know how you bear it when you go home and tell the, all your fellow practitioners that we lost it all. 
The Olympic game, we lost it. <laughs> oh, gold medal, go to the Hungarian. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Where do you go to the last soup and then Buddha? Then what next? All right. Yeah. Yeah, the being can stay five days in the flesh, no? Manifest it, and they ma when they manifest, they're beautiful. So when you see a beautiful girl or beautiful boy outside in the street, beware. Maybe he's not real. <laughs> no, I'm not kidding. I'm serious. There are many stories, you know, in the history. China, Vietnam, they told story about those invisible beings come and then befriend them, and then they fall in love, and then she cannot stay, and blah, blah, blah, you know. Even she became a snake or become a fox after or at night. It's because they are from astral level. It's a true story. They might exaggerate a bit here and there or misunderstand here and there, but it's there such thing happened. And they were extremely beautiful, that's why. They're from astral world, they're very beautiful. They're artistic. Huh? have magical power and all that. Yeah. Right then. And sometimes those astral beings fall in love with the earthling and also don't want to go. And that's caused the problem. Yeah? So before you give your heart away, make sure he stays long. Eh? <laughs> she or he have a real visa, eh? Or like resident permit or something, working permit or something, okay? You can go with him. She cannot stay with you. What to do? In China, there is even a story, say, uh, the buffalo boy, like the cowboy, and the weaver lady. They fall in love, but they can only see each other once a year, in July, right? Yeah, July moon calendar. Maybe it's a ghost or vacation time. She can. <laughs> Take a holiday <laughs> once, a, once a year. Wow, what a love! I wouldn't bother. I wouldn't bother. <laughs> if I have a man, I hold him forever or no, nothing at all. So just go bye bye. <laughs> once a year, what to do? Huh? <laughs> and even the black crow, the quack, quack, the bird, the legend, you know, have it that every July moon calendar, the black. Crow have to make a bridge from heaven to wherever, so that the, she can come down and meet him. The cowboy is from the earth, probably from Texas. <laughs> <laughs> and, and the weaver, weaver lady is a fairy from heaven or somewhere else. It may be astro weaving clothes for the king of heaven. She made a mistake. Fall in love with a cowboy? What for? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you are laughing. <laughs> yeah, if it's your position, you'll be crying, baby. <laughs> it's easy for us to laugh, huh? Yeah, it's easy for us to laugh. Yeah, so I don't know if that is really a romance or a tragedy. I don't know if it should be called love or just a curse, huh? All right. Uh, any question about Astro before we move on? The journey is long. Yeah, just talk loud. You make them sound good, like the, the astral beings. Like, they don't sound that bad now compared to the hell beings. Of course not. They're, not, they're higher than you. Yeah, I know. Oh. I didn't say uh, the astral are bad. No, cause some the, are bad, just like earthling, some are bad. Because the astral energy, you know, all that emotional stuff and uh, that all that comes from up there, right? The, the astral level. The astral people have more emotion, that's all. Yeah. And if we are near the astral, so we inherit that. Yeah. We have more emotion, that's why we cry a lot. We fall in love, we break hard, fall again, break again, cry again, laugh again. <laughs> it's very emphasized on emotional aspect. Yeah. You know, treasure those emotional stuff. Old picture from granny, no teeth, and <laughs> no hair, I still keep it, you know. <laughs> Ex love, whatever, you know, she's already married five more times in between. <laughs> still keep it. That's the astral aspect of it. I'm not telling lie, no? Is it true, no? Some people are like that. Yeah. 
Any more? No, that's fine, Master. Thank you. You're welcome. The girl. I just wanted to ask if the astral level, uh, the ast astral beings are can have better intentions as, uh, I mean, the the hell beings have better intentions, and the astral beings, what are what are they? Do oh, they they're better. Of course, they are better. They're they, more. Yeah, they have better intentions. When yeah, they yeah, they do. I do, but one or two will be bad. You know, some of them are bad. Uh, Naughty, you know? Yes. Some near a border to earth or have a little bit less. As in every planet, every level of consciousness, there is the finer one and the cruder one. But most astral beings, they don't mean any harm. They don't mean any harm. Yeah? Only hell are the worst. Hell are the worst. Yeah, next one. Anybody? No? You asked a question before. Are you falling in love or something, baby? <laughs> Nam or you? Nam, you fall in love or what? Why you ask that? Let's see who is the beauty. Nekem, nekem sok probléma volt a a erős szexualitása. Inkább csak volt. Yeah, you are a bachelor. That's why. Hosszú ideig nem volt szexuális kapcsolatom, 15 évig. Yeah, you were TV, yeah, yeah. Influence, yes. Of course, of course. Csak volt egy időszak, mikor nagyon erős volt. Fast. For a period of time, it was very strong. I know, I know, I know. There are periods of a man's, a woman's life when the sexual hormones are stronger than other time. It's a hormone period of time, yeah. And uh, when the man or the woman nearer to the the end of their active sexually active time is the strongest. Oh, we'll find him a girlfriend. I... <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Why didn't you stay outside and find a girlfriend, married or something? As Ajo, as Ajo, me sha a a siya manen na kaya de as östene kasokiya. His, his mind and his heart doesn't really want it anymore. Just his, his, uh... The hormones, I know, I know. That's the curse that we're born with, eh? <laughs> yeah. Uh, either you bear it or you go find a girlfriend. I cannot be responsible for everything. <laughs> I just came here for a few days. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> yeah. Difficult. Yeah, I know, I know. That's the price you have to pay for being singular, you know? Single. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. But some people don't have that problem. Yeah. Some some hormone uh, affects attacks people more than other people. Maybe you are one of the unfortunate. <laughs> No Don't watch TV. No problem. Okay, no problem. Don't watch TV too much. No, no, no, no. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Right. That's a expanding tendency. <laughs> the human cannot expand with any power. Cannot have creative power. So they, that's an expanding urge inside. It's nothing bad about it. It's just uncomfortable. Yeah. Maybe try to do some creative thing. Make a clay model. I don't know, build house for dogs or do something. <laughs> yeah. Find some interest. Or a girlfriend, eh? Either is. The interest is less problem, the girlfriend more problem. So, you know, check it out what you want. Hobby is always better, I recommend. This time, the Master's Tongue is the Tongue of the Master's Tongue. The Master's Tongue is the Tongue of the Master's Tongue. The Master's Tongue is the Tongue of the Master's Tongue. The Master's Tongue is the Tongue of the Master's Tongue.
now just talking on that subject, I think that many men have that problem, like the brother. Yeah, sure. And uh, actually, the funny thing is, um, this morning I was I fell asleep in the chair mm -hmm. and I had a very explicit kind of dream. Yeah. And then um, I woke up. When I was there, I didn't realize I was somewhere else. It was like normal. I was supposed to be there. Mm. Then I woke up and I thought, my God, I look at this holy place where everybody's there. And I thought, my God, where have I been? That was a visit to astral level, was it? Was that you go there and you ask me. I'm not there. I wasn't going there with you. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> no, funny thing, there was another brother there. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe you go there together. I won't, I won't mention the name. <laughs> oh, don't, don't, don't, don't blame it on him. <laughs> Maybe it's you. Never mind. Don't worry about it. Well, never mind. Never, never mind. It's no sin. It's no sin. Okay. okay. It's all right. It's all right. It's just one of the hurdles that impose upon a human being so that they forget heaven. It's a curse, also. Is that these points you were talking about, like uh, if you have a, a, a dark point, then the hell being can attach to that. Is this the same, um, this, this desire, is that another point where the astral being can connect to it? Is that the... No, no, it's okay. It's just uh, the creative urge within human, yeah? Oh, I see. But because it's so crude, yeah. it's, uh, it's uh, translated into sexual tendency. I see. It's just a creative power at work, oh. and you don't have magical power to do anything to create another being. So, yeah. sexual activity is uh, kind of the only way to make another being. Oh, okay. Yeah, just like God made many beings, you also want to make beings. Oh. We all want to expand. Like we have a little creative uh, spark inside yeah. that wants to create things. Okay. Okay. So it translates into sexual desire. But that's a good thing, then, isn't it? That creative power is a good thing. Good, yes, but then well, trouble. You can, you can channel it to something else, right? <laughs> yeah, if you can. Yeah, it's a good talk. <laughs> Thank you, Master. It's easy to talk. For most people, it's not easy to channel anywhere at all. <laughs> it just stay where it is and cause trouble all day, all night. <laughs> Never mind, just ignore it, okay? Release it, whatever you can, and ignore it, okay? It's just like scratching your skin and forget about it, all right? Do not emphasize on it, do not blame yourself like a sinful thing. Do not think too much about it, just concentrate on the positive. Yeah, we have some negative, some positive, just concentrate on the positive. Better than whining on the negative all the time. Yeah, and forget even the positive, okay? So never mind, whatever it is, live with it, <laughs> work with it, okay? Re relieve whatever you can, if you eat, you scratch and then forget it, all right? No, no important point, bad or good, whatever. Okay, next one. No? You don't want to know anymore about Astro. They eat stuff, they eat sometimes. Yeah, like a little bit, not like, not much like us. A vegetarian. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs> no, they don't have body. She asked if they have shadow. I said no. They don't have body, so no shadow, no? The sun. The sun, but it's not like this sun. The sun also physical less, no? No physical. It looks similar to here, just more beautiful, more lushful, evergreen, ever beautiful. The flower don't fade, you know, <laughs> and the grass don't don't brown, you know, thing like that. It's always beautiful, well kept, and very clean, very fresh, friendly, beautiful. Always, when you live there, you think it's eternal. <laughs> they don't have mud and all this, you know. That's just similar. It's just beautiful forever. They have families, yeah. The family, the people come from here, after they die, they join them. Yeah, mostly they join together. The family will come and greet them. If they don't practice Kuaning method, that's where they go. Family is reunion. <laughs> Astral reunion. But they become very young. Young forever. Mm? Even if an old woman die, become young again. Yeah. 
So the whole family is young, bubbling, bubbling youngster. <laughs> Anything anymore? No? Okay, I think you rush, you're rushing for gulash, that's why you're not asking. <laughs> Are you hungry? We can come back later. No. No. Can you bear it? You okay? Yes. Fine. So we go on? Yes. Right. Let's go to second level. Uh, the further, the higher, the less to talk about. Eh? Only the hell we talk about. <laughs> oh, we forgot about the physical. <laughs> we jump from hell to astral. Uh, I guess because we so used to with this and we take it for granted. Anything you want to know about physical body, or physical being, the earth, except that they can manifest into a human form and stay for about 100 years? <laughs> no question? No? Physical, everybody knows already, right? Yeah, all kind of bitter, sweet, sour, and uh, I'll say hot. Nah? But we like it, no? You like it very much. Oh, love it, love it. Oh, you do, don't tell lies. Yeah. I'm cu curious. Yes. I'm curious about the time aspects. Um, like one hour here is like, for example, how long in Astro World, and we can visit Astro World also in our dreams. Yeah, sure, you can. You can all in in, in meditation. Uh, some people don't even meditate. They can project themselves for astral project projection. They can project to the astral level, and they can project around the world. One hour there, one day here. And because you say that they can um, only come to the world for like five days? Five days are Earth days. Okay. Five hours, five hours astral. Because I was saying that any level that's beyond the, the physical level would be able to stay always if you go lower that they can stay as long as they want. Ah, you're kidding. <laughs> the pressure they cannot bear. Just like you can go down to the, the ocean, but you cannot stay too long, eh? Pressure, eh? The, the water seems cool and soft and harmless, but if you go deep in there and stay long, your body will become swollen, uncomfortable, cold, and then you die, you know. Or if you go even deeper in the ocean, uh, the pressure of the water will make you feel very uncomfortable. Your lung will become trouble. Some people diving too long, they have to have a special machine, you know, to breathe and to repair their lung damage. Eh? But that's why... <laughs> It's not like that. You can come down, but you cannot stay long. The astral people, uncomfortable for them. You heard the story about mermaid and all that. It's, it's also similar. Eh? Yeah. On the astral level, there is no space, but there is time. There are space and time. Still space and time. Just different space, different time. You're welcome. The vibration, the space is quicker. The vibration is finer and more urgent. It's not like they feel, they feel pressure or hurry or anything. It's just the space and time is more um, finer, therefore it's quicker. No? Right. So we move on. It's similar to here, yeah? It's just more beautiful and leisure. People live longer, no sickness, no illness, yeah? And they're more kind, yeah? They have more power, they can travel quicker, yeah? And they don't have a body to obstruct them for traveling or thinking. They almost it's, it's almost perfect. When you stay there, you think it's a perfect, it's heaven. You don't think of anywhere else. You would not think anything else would be better than that. If you don't know anything else, you think that's the highest heaven. And, and the higher you go to the higher astral sphere, the better you feel. The more absolute you feel. More absolute doesn't mean <laughs> you feel the absolute. You just feel absolute. Evola, more? 
contained five words, it's uh, two pages. <laughs> My calendar. I don't have I don't have paper to write. So I just write this. Okay, any more questions? Eh? The gulas waiting, no? <laughs> okay, we move? Okay, it's not much to say, you know already at the, at the time of initiation, you already been told what kind of level and kind of what kind of a word the astro or second or third level is, etc., etc. Nah? So to explore it, you go in detail by yourself, eh? All right. All right, now, to the astro can stay two days, eh? animals and uh, astro, human can stay five days in the flesh. If they stay anonymous without flesh, they could stay a little longer, a couple of days longer. But in the flesh, five days. That's all the power they can afford to manifest. Yeah? Just like you work all year round, you save money, you can go on holidays for one month only. Yeah? You go further, you can't. You can't afford it. Your financial power is limited. <laughs> Some uh, stronger astro, you know, or some people who, who work, they are from the astro, but of course they can manifest longer or stay longer or they come and go at will. They are different. As a master, they are not from the astro level, but they stay in the astro level to teach people. Then they can come to earth and stay as long. But they don't. Who would like to stay here? Who would like to go into the prison when you are already free? Even the freedom outside, if you do labor work, is still better than being in a prison with all the luxury. Yes? Master, uh, these people think about the day they're going to leave their world? Yes, they know, they know. They, they do know. They do know. Yes. They do think about it, but it's too long, so they don't think. Even here, we have over a maximum 100 years generally, but nobody even think about it. Every day we do work and we build houses, we build things, we think we live forever. They live even longer, so it's difficult for them to think. They do think, but it's far. Thanks, sir. You're welcome. Yeah. Let's move on so the gulas be hot. <laughs> you eat only only breakfast and sit here all day? Yeah. Wow, you brave. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Like master, like disciple. Oh. <laughs> All right. Good. You improved. Yeah? Do Ashura can see our future? Why? I, I don't know. I just asked. What for? Because then they can come for us. I don't know. I just ask. <laughs> they can, but they have nothing to do with us. They don't want to mess with it. They see anything. They can see anything they want. But they don't want to mess with us. They also know the, the destiny and the karma. They don't mess with it. They can see their own future and our future, and our future, everything, but they don't want to see. Only in some necessary case they want to look, otherwise they don't bother, okay? Yeah? Second? Second level? Yeah. So now I must say anyway, except when you ask, okay? The second level of beings can come down to earth, in the physical flesh, which they manifest themselves by their own power, yeah? They can say that physical body can last for eight days. They don't need food in these eight days. The astro also don't need food in these five days. They can eat, but they don't need, yeah? They won't die if without five days here, or with eight days here, no eat, they will not die. They will just look like you, yeah? And they can talk like they can talk in any language they want. Suppose they manifest in Spain, they will speak Espanol. And they manifest in France, they will speak Francais. And you never know where they come from. Perfect accent, perfect intelligence, perfect knowledge of everything. They can pour out the whole history of uh, of, of France without learning, because they know it from there already. So if you see some extremely intelligent being from out of nowhere, and very extraordinary, then you must know maybe they came from second level. Yeah? What for such a young guy knows so much about history of France? 
something that you did not even read yet. You didn't have time to. All right? <laughs> what is you guy laughing at? Well, it's funny because he's speaking Spanish and given the history of the uh, history of France. Yeah. No, that is really funny. That's amazing. Why funny? Because <laughs> they know everything. That's why. Because more more extraordinary than human memory. Yeah. They know everything from the second level. No, the, the library contain everything. Every country, every small being. The second level have a library. You want to know anybody's history, you go there and check out. So before they come to France, they know everything already. It go in a flash and they download it in a second. They know everything before they come. Yeah? So nobody can ever push them into a corner with a, where they never be able to answer. So they never get into trouble. If they do get into trouble, they just disintegrate, go back to second level. Nobody can catch them. Any question? No. Yeah, here, here. Talk. Can can you sense those? You know, I mean, if they come from the second level to this planet, you know, uh, can you somehow sense them or? or sense you know? them? Me? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. I met many. Uh huh. I met many from third, fourth. I I didn't meet any from second. All uh, I do, I do, but rare. They stay away from me. <laughs> I can sense them, of course. Sometimes they're disguised, very funny. Yeah. You never know they are God. They are. If they are higher level, you never know. One day, uh, many times, you know, like some, sometimes I am in a difficult situation, like. You know, you know already. That I'm, the Maya is always <laughs> making trouble. So my passport, okay, everything okay. But sometimes they question me on end all the time in the border or something for any reason. My car is empty. Check inside out, screw it all out, and look at the flat and all the tire and check nothing there. I still don't know why they're keeping me there. So then sometimes the guard to the third level or fourth level accordingly, they appear there. They do something, say something, and then they just release quick, out of nothing, because they are connected with these police over there. And they can uh, tell them inside that this okay, let them go, or else. <laughs> you know? While they were visiting us, they might have befriended these people, so they are connected. They can tell. Not not all the God can do that. It depends on the affinity of where you know. And sometimes I want to buy a car and I don't know where that car is, you know. There was some car, very small, and you don't need driver license, yeah? So you can drive without. It's like a motorcycle, but they made it into a car. You can drive at 70 kilometers an hour, and it costs about 9 euro per, per, per month. Because it's a very little diesel or benzene, whatever that is, very cheap. A four cities, automatic, radio, aircon. Everything perfect. It's a beautiful. So I just wanted to buy, and I don't know where. I, I saw it once, but I don't know where to buy it. And zoom! I walk out, and there was a zoomer car right in front of me. So I got a taxi and run after her. We we couldn't stop because of uh, traffic. You know, can't stop us. And then one at one time she just stopped out of nothing. Just stopped standing there. So we go and ask where she buy the car, and she told me where, where, where. And you would never guess this is a four level God. Four level diva. He's a man. And he manifests as a woman. Tattoo makeup, red lipstick, red nails, flaming hair. A lot of clothes put behind in plastic box. Moving house. Completely normal. Telling me where to buy and where to have insurance and how much it costs per week and everything. And then zoom, she's gone. Yeah. You would never tell. That's one time. Another time, sometimes they manifest not just to help me, but just to look at me. Because they love to. Some fortunate one, you know, can go down, have a holiday and uh, right there when I was where I was. So one time we at this time, I have one attendant witness. 
Uh, the other time, just a taxi driver, so I can never prove it to you. But never mind, I'm just telling you, you don't need to believe. One other time, I go into a supermarket, buy something. It was uh, a few years ago, before my retreat even. And uh, I was buying something, and there was a guy, homeless guy. Appearance, homeless. A very uh, tattered clothes, old clothes. Uh, one hour, you know, berry, income hair, and ugly, dirty face, no teeth even. Just a couple left, you know, like they don't have teeth. And come next to me and bow very deep. Madam, can I have 20 cents from you? 20 cents? Oh, sure. And he uh, explained that uh, he need to call uh, the telephone. 20 cents. And then I give him, never mind, take a couple of dollars, you know, whatever I have, I'll give it to him because I didn't, the, the attendant just come out with the money, you know, running. So I give him the money. I thought, he said, do you need any more? And that you wait. He said, no, no, it's enough, you know. Thank you so much. He bowed so deep, so deep. The, the homeless person, they never bow. And they don't bow that deep, and they don't look into your eyes and twinkling. <laughs> and even winking. Yeah. Okay. So, so the attendant was there already, and he said, "What does that person want?" He said, "He just want twenty cents to to go inside there." Uh, no, he didn't say call the phone. He said he needs it. Ah, he said he needs it for telephone. Probably telephone there. Yeah. <laughs> so the attendant, I, I did not suspect yet, you know, but then I, I sent something, so I check him out. So I know he's a third level diva, just manifested to have a look at me. And so the, the, I told the attendant, he don't believe me. He said, no, no, that's the homeless guy. <laughs> you can tell he has no teeth and his hair is, is messy, you know, and he hasn't bathed for many days and he probably needed to call somebody with 20 cents. He said, you don't have any, just 20 cents. And he don't believe me. I say, you go into the supermarket, have a look if there are any public phone in there, number one. Number two, if they even use 20 cents or any cent at all to put, put in there. No. And they use 50 cents or one dollar. You cannot put one cent, two cents or 20 cents and then another 30 cents. No, there's no such system. And then he believed me. <laughs> Not that he didn't believe, but he cannot believe, you know. And there's another time, another third level, God come in and help me out to speed up the bureaucracy, you know, all the time. Yeah, any more questions, babe? No? <laughs> you sit in there like, what is that? What does that look like? <laughs> <laughs> I, was, uh, I was amazed with that story. Because it looks like the gods, they come down. They disguise it. You would never believe it. You would not. Years, that you would not. Story. You would not. And, and I don't blame you. I tend to saying, hey, you <laughs> said, no, no, but that's the homeless guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> The attendant, you know, yeah, say, I'm yeah. sure when the guy, he must have one or two. <laughs> I didn't even tell him yet. I say, what do you think that guy is, huh? He's a god, no? He said, no, no, he's a homeless guy. So I have to explain to him and make him go inside, have a look if there's even any telephone in there. I'm, I'm just, you know, laughing, I'm enjoying you. Yeah, story. no, no, I know, no. You sit there like an open mouth, like a kid that have never seen Santa Claus. <laughs> When I said this morning, I'll tell you the whole history of the five worlds, I thought, ah, uh, uh, that's why I'm just soaking yeah. in. I didn't say the whole history, but, you know, well, yeah, we'll go through history. the five worlds. Yeah. Okay, any question about the second level? Eight days, that's what their visa is. Yeah. And they have extreme knowledge, ne? extreme large knowledge of anything that you want to ask. Sometimes they come down and visit us, sometimes they come down helping somebody, you know, because they're more powerful. You pray sometimes, you pray to God, and if sometimes you think God helps you, that's them. Yeah? 
Sometimes they really manifest and help you. If they happen to be by you, they normally don't go around helping busy body because they know the law of karma. But sometimes they are rich enough, I mean they're powerful enough, they could help a little bit and it doesn't harm them. And it doesn't mess up with the karmic system, then they do it. So sometimes people say, I pray to God and God did appear in the bush and all that stuff with the fire and all that, or appear in the form of old man and all that and disappear. It's true. Many times they appear and then they just disappear. My attendant cannot find them. Yeah. And uh, that's why in India they worship anybody who comes to their house and they treat them as God because they do know very well that who knows. Yeah, It could be a God from higher level come and visit them. They might come and ask you for a glass of water. They might come and ask for a meal or they come and ask for direction. And if you're willing to help them, they bestow on you some merit without you knowing or with you knowing. Yeah. So you all here are God, divas, yeah, from a third level, four level. You're citizens of those higher planets already. Yeah? yeah. Of course you can bestow some merit on other people. That's why I told you serve each other and reap merit from each other. Ne? <laughs> Yeah? Yeah, you have the power. Sometimes uh, somebody sick and you sit next to them, you pray for them, or you sit next to them, meditate, and they heal, no? Yeah? For example, yeah. The uh, second level being just how long they live. Oh. Uh, the second level, oh, you're talking about second, second level. Oh, they, they live long, long, long, but not forever. Yeah. A uh, couple of thousand years is normal. How they created, how they're born, I mean, those guys. Oh, oh. It's some astral being who has better merit and then they can just adopt it and come up. Oh, yeah. Right. They don't need to create human beings even. They just they can manifest it. Right. Yeah. They can manifest as many as they want, depends on how big family they want. Right. They don't have to need the corporal uh, how you say intercourse in order to have babies. Okay, no, I just want I just said that's the obvious question to ask you yeah. for you and yeah. well. Yeah. And also sometimes some astral level people have a bigger merit so they can adopt them, take them up by the light. Right. Like, like create a, uh, the whirlpool of light and then just right. uh, uh, so elevate them up into their family, in right. the middle of the family circle where they're chanting, lie, happy, hug, hug, welcome. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. And then they become part of family, very much loved, very much sharing everything, adopted, yeah. Yeah? See, see, see. Ha álmodom, or ahogy meditálok, és előre jön egy kép a jövőből, ez van így. If I meditate, or dream, and the picture of the future comes. Aha. Akkor az, tehát előre látom a jövőt, a jövőre egy észletét, akkor az, Belső késztetésből jön, tehát vágyból jön, vagy az automatikusan jön, ha az ember elér egy szintet? So if I foresee uh, a part of the future, does it come from my, from my inner inclination, or does it predict the future? If you see the future, that means you predict the future, no? Uh, igen, de én néha nem szeretném látni, és mégis kapok egy képet, ami megmutatja, hogy mi fog történni. És azt nem értem, hogy miért. Mert utána megvalósul. Ah, it's okay then. You have clairvoyant gift. A lot of people have. Just natural, okay? Natural outcome of the meditation. Sometimes you can see the future is normal. But uh, don't care. What? Kesera, <laughs> sera, Sometimes what? Disturbs you. Uh, like what? To worry about the future? Nem igazán, csak akkor mindig arra gondolok. 
Not really just then he always thinks about it. Ah, it's true, it's true. It's true, it's true. It's true, it's true. that's why most of the time uh, you should not look into the future, isn't it? It's enough that you worry about things today. Just ignore it, whatever come will come. Mm? Understand. Thank you. Yeah. Just ignore it, try to be busy, do something else, forget it. <laughs> it's not always easy, but just treat it like a film or movie thing. And try to go past this stage of your power. Enter into a deeper region where you don't even need to see the future or the future will not come like that. Tell us what is it in your future in these couple of days and then I can help you. Most szerintem láttam, ez inkább régebbi dolgot. Most a nénap alatt... Now in these few days he didn't see anything. Then we don't have to worry, do we? Especially I'm here, your future is just to clean the yard, feed the dogs and sit here. Very simple future. And I tell you what, join the club. It happened the same to everybody. Wow. Right. So we go further or we go to see the Gulas area? The planet, Gulas planet. <laughs> oh no, I'm worried about your tender stomach. Okay, at home you eat three, four, five, six, seven meals. <laughs> you know, and here only two meals and still cannot eat on time. <laughs> She's talking forever because uh, the, the clock doesn't work. Anybody have a calendar behind me or something? <laughs> okay, this is astro time, eh? it doesn't matter, right? <laughs> okay, any more questions about second level? Yes? Yeah.呃，师傅刚刚他讲那个问题，呃，是有的时候看到呃，自然会出来。啊啊啊，对对对。会会会有点担心。啊，未来。对啊。可是我觉得不要去看那个比较。不要去看比较。自然来吗？自
you see the past, like, oh, this person in the last life was your wife and now she's somebody else. This will be very painful also. Huh? And if you see the future, your wife's going to leave you. Oh, that's even worse. <laughs> yeah? So, God is merciful. He locked it all up. So you don't see the past, you don't see the future. This is a blessing, no? Every day we work, work, work, we try our best. It's enough already. And we could even change the future too. Yeah? Many things are supposed to happen. If I didn't go on retreat, other things would have happened, even to our group, to myself, to the world, to the planet, to the universe. But because I go on retreat, I have time, I have power to change it. So it's become better. We can change the future, so it's no need to... If you see the past or the future, don't care. Meditate more, <laughs> pray it, okay? Then everything will be just fine. Right. Any more questions? Yes. You understand, right? I Oh, good, good. She said, she said somehow she knew that her husband was her enemy. <laughs> but now she don't care. She meditated and everything is smooth out already. Master help her. No problem. Yeah, love thy enemy. Okay, any more questions concerning second or third or seven or eight? <laughs> yeah? No, eh? No more? Good. We go on? Yeah. Yeah. Third time, Gulash? <laughs> um, second, okay, eight, eight. The third level person, the third level being can manifest on earth in the flesh for 15 days. Two weeks vacation, that's a long time. So sometimes you meet beautiful people. Oh, I, I, for, I forgot. They don't necessarily manifest as a beautiful person the way they are up there. Hey, you remember the homeless? And the old lady with the tattoo makeup and uh, red lipstick and uh, red hair, messy and, you know? It's not necessary, okay? Mm. They do know how to disguise, just like 007, you know? <laughs> <laughs> wow, all kind of disguise. You never know. You never know. Even I, if I don't notice, I would not know, you know? And then, and then I, something strikes me and I say, ah, oh yeah, I know you. And then he disappeared. <laughs> Any question about number third? The third level, they don't need to eat. They also don't procreate, eh? they can use their power to create any friend or family member they like. Fifteen days is their visa. Okay. If you have any more questions, then I go. No question, then we go up. No? Yes? No? Chi? No? Nam? Nam. Good. Yo, go. <laughs> Four level beings, they can stay twenty days, even without food. They don't even if they're in the physical body, they could also manifest their own food to survive in this physical planet. Twenty days, yeah? And the fifth level being if they want to come here to the planet to visit or to help in manifestation, manifested in a physical body, they can stay thirty days without damaging their spiritual essence. Yeah? Yeah. Without feeling much pressure. Thirty days they can stay. All right. Wow. All this just the hell is the most <laughs> the longest uh, four feet we go fast. <laughs> That's it. If no question we can go enjoy gulas. As I tell you, it's like heaven. <laughs> <laughs> Who cooked the gulas today? <laughs> Nobody here? That's oh. The you cooked the gulas? Good, good job, good job. Any more? 
Yes, go ahead, go ahead. Um, sometimes I heard about the goddess of the moon. God the goddess of the moon? Yes. Oh, okay. Where the, uh, did did uh, she come? No, no. Yeah, no, no. The moon has many beings at third level, yeah? They are very, very benevolent. Uh, of course, they, they can manifest in human form like lady, yes? So maybe that's where it comes from. Oh, the Chinese uh, or Vietnamese, they romanticize the moon because they're beautiful, you know, so beautiful, so smooth, so tender, so nice at night. When it's so dark and you have the moon, a full moon especially, beautiful, so they liken it. There must be a goddess who lives there, but they are steaming with beings, beautiful beings. The planet is steaming with people, third level. And now we went there to take down a piece of rock and come down and say there's nothing. <laughs> one day, one day I was thinking of them a lot, and I look up and I say, "Wow, you're very nice and beautiful, good being." So the moon smiled all night long, <laughs> as long as I sit there. There's one attendant at that time, witness, yeah. Sometimes things happen with no witness, but this time have witness. And another time, have two, three, four witness. The moon was just natural. Where I was staying in the cave, yeah, meditate. But that day I come out into the non-cave area. We have some mobile home for other people, for a few attendants and the dogs and all that. Nah? The dog come visit me in the cave and come back, you know, one dog at a time, yeah. Anyway, about 15 minutes walk from the cave. So one day I came out there because I need to get some documents to do some work or sometime magazine or report, whatever, yeah? I come out sometime short and then I come back in the cave. And that day was the moon, the moon was full, full. And I was telling them how benevolent the, the moon people are. And then I was looking at them very lovingly. And then suddenly the moon changed. It become the moon, there's normally there's no color inside the moon, eh? No shape, just a little bit of dark spot, but it changed into the huge eye, you know, with the with the, the, the structure like our eye with the people in the front, in the middle, and the, the vein all, you know, like this, and the vein around it, you know, just like your eye, eh? But golden. And with the people in the middle of the moon, with all the structure just exactly like an eye. And all around the moon is a huge, beautiful, pure, clean, fresh color rainbow. You haven't seen a rainbow around the moon? <laughs> just immediately, and oh, so beautiful. They were looking, looking for a long time. So I said, oh, thank you, thank you. Now you can rest, you can rest, thank you. <laughs> they all go and look, the attendants, you know. So it's beautiful. Have you seen one like that? No. no. The rainbow around the moon. No. Complete rainbow and round around the moon and the eye in the middle, like they all concentrate looking at us. Wow, that was the most beautiful moon I have ever seen. Maybe you've seen more beautiful moon time than that, but that's the most beautiful moon I have seen. The ring around the moon is normal, one color, two color, but the whole rainbow and the freshest color rainbow I've ever seen and the eye in the middle, and immediately, like you change immediately. Normally there's no, no cloud or anything around, and suddenly they just gather to make a big rainbow around and the eye in the middle. It for, lasts for many hours. It don't move, you know, the rainbow doesn't move, the eye doesn't move, the structure, you know, like real eye. <laughs> so beautiful. They really have spirits, you know, if you talk to them, <laughs> they will let you know that they know. Yeah. Many times, and sometimes, and then one another time, I think you know already, I think, I don't know, we talk. Somebody already reported in a Chinese, Chinese video a long time ago that we were singing together, you know, I was singing. And the moon stayed still for one hour or two hours, I forgot. And until we finish, just stay there in one position. The, the, the, the mountain is like this, no? we sit here, and the moon just hanging on top of the mountain there, about that distance. Stay there for, I don't know, one hour, more than one hour. We, we didn't time, but it was a long time. And then we finish, everybody watch it until it. Oh, uh, the Chinese monks, you know, at that time, the beginning of my period of uh, mission, 
Just then everywhere, what to see? He, he, he go down, but he doesn't go down. Just stay there for a long time. And then when we finish singing, we go inside the tent and drop. <laughs> One second, jit, go. Yeah. The moon, like everything else, if we have love, they respond. Yeah? Okay. Now I let you go to visit the Gulas planet. <laughs> It's a very good gulas. <laughs> you can add a little bit more spice, but otherwise it's good. Bye-bye. See you.